Okay, Assalamualaikum and a very good day everyone. Before I start my opinion speech, I would like to give you the definition of a best friend. Okay, a best friend uh, can be simplified as a person or a friend who loves you like a mother, who cares about you as like a father, who helps you like a sister and also sometimes argue with you like a brother. Okay, do you get it? So today, I, Dr. Azana Shafidi bin Tabdur Malik, would like to state my stand that personality differences don't prevent one to become a best friend. Okay, so, most of us assume when it comes to the friendship issue, our best friend or our close friend must be a person who have so many things in common with us. But that's not true. Because in real life, your best friend might be a person who actually have 360 degree different from you. Okay? When both of when both of you are yin and yang, you complete each other. Your dissimilarities, um, your dissimilarities uh, works together and and it just go that way. You complete each other as a different person. So so firstly, firstly, when you have a friend that is uh, different from you, you guys will uh, push each other out of your comfort zone. So basically, when you are on your own, you won't try something new. But when you are with your best friend, he or she will force you to do things, uh, to do things or something new, even you don't want to do. But sometimes you are great. Not sometimes, most of the time, you are grateful you do it. And same goes with your best friend. So, uh, you guys will push each other or will help each other to try and to explore new opportunities. Secondly, um, when your best friend is different from you, you guys will improve each other. So, it's like this. Um, while the other's opinion about you make you piss off or uh, make you getting angry or mad, but you always believe your best friend because he or she will always tell the truth. So, when you guys are different, you are easily recognize each other's weaknesses. So, you guys will, will improve each other in so many kind of things. Okay? And last but not least, when you guys are different from each other, you will, um, you will pet off each other's energy. This is because your auras are different. Although they are different, they work in a unique harmony. So, uh, uh, for instance, uh, your best friend is a kind of person which is full of spirit or some sort of uh, people say. Uh, gila gila or something uh, he, uh, she or he is an outspoken person while you are a calm person so uh, he, your best friend will ignite your spirit while you will uh, calm your best friend no no you not you will calm her but you will bring her down back to earth so this is why you guys are going to fed off each other energy. So as conclusion, as conclusion, I believe that is I believe it is awesome or it is cool when your best friend is your polar opposite. Uh, the key, the key is communication. So when you are in the best friendship, or before that, I would like to I would like to give my visual aid. So, this is my best friend. So, uh, uh, before it's end, I would like to say that when you are in a best friendship with someone which is so different from you, you and me, you and your best friend will open up to a whole world of possibility and also it's my excitement. Is that right? Yes. Okay, that's all from me. That's all from us. Thank you.